One meal a day, OMAD, for 30 days. My weight loss journey. The concept of intermittent fasting has been gaining popularity in recent years, with various fasting regimens promising health benefits and weight loss. One of the more extreme forms is the one meal a day OMAD approach. Intrigued by the potential benefits, I embarked on a 30-day OMAD experiment to see what would happen. This video chronicles my journey and the outcomes of this unique dietary practice. Day 1-7 to seven, The Transition Period The first week was undoubtedly the most challenging. Transitioning from three meals a day to a single meal was mentally and physically taxing. The initial hunger pangs were intense, and I often found myself reaching for snacks out of habit. However, I persevered, and by the end of the week I began to adapt to the new routine. I also noticed a slight increase in mental clarity and focus, which motivated me to continue. Day 8 to 14, adjusting to OMAD. As the second week progressed, I found myself becoming more comfortable with OMAD. My single meal was a substantial and balanced one, with a mix of lean protein, complex carbohydrates and plenty of vegetables. Despite initial concerns about overeating in a single sitting, I realised that I was satisfied and didn't feel the need to indulge excessively. I also observed weight loss during this period, which was a significant motivator. By consuming fewer calories overall and extending my fasting window, I was burning fat for energy. This was evident not only on the scale but also in my energy levels, which remained stable throughout the day. Day 15 to 21. Energy boost and mental clarity. By the third week, the changes in my body and mind became more pronounced. I experienced a consistent energy boost throughout the day, likely due to stable blood sugar levels. This made me more productive at work and in my daily activities. Additionally, my mental clarity improved and I felt more focused and alert, which was a surprising and welcomed effect of OMAD. The benefits were not limited to physical changes though. OMAD allowed me to cultivate mindfulness about my eating habits. I began to appreciate the taste of food more and learned to differentiate between true hunger and boredom-driven cravings. Day 22 to 30, Sustainable Transformation. As I entered the final week of my 30-day OMAD journey, I was not only accustomed to the practice, but also eager to continue. My relationship with food had transformed, and I had a newfound sense of control over my eating habits. The weight loss was consistent, and I felt healthier and more vibrant. It's important to note that OMAD isn't for everyone. Individual experiences may vary, and it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before making any significant changes to your dietary routine. For those who choose to explore OMAD, it's essential to prioritise nutrient-dense meals, stay hydrated, and listen to your body's signals. The conclusion. The 30-day OMAD experiment was an eye-opening journey that yielded both physical and mental benefits. While it was challenging at the outset, the transition became more manageable over time, and the advantages of stable energy levels, mental clarity, and weight loss became apparent. OMAD may not be suitable for everyone, but for those looking for a structured and disciplined approach to fasting, it can offer transformative results. Ultimately, it's important to prioritise health, nutrition and well-being above all else. OMAD should be practised mindfully and tailored to individual needs and preferences. Before embarking on any fasting regimen, consult with a healthcare professional to ensure it aligns with your specific health goals and requirements. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a comment with your thoughts.